pumps be planted on our ammo supply. Hey guys, Marty Rooster here, and over the last few days, there has been a lot of updates to Call of Duty World War 2. I'll be covering the most important updates in this video. If you guys are looking for information on the current resistant event, check out the video link in the description below. All that information is in that video. They finally got around to fixing that loud voice announcer in the war game mode. That guy was so loud, unexpected, and oh my god, dude, if you were in a headset, rest in peace. But that problem is no more. They finally fixed it. The rate that you regenerate your health has also been increased. You still have to wait the 5 seconds after you receive damage for the health regeneration to start. But once the health regeneration starts, it will not take as long to get you back to full HP. People are still saying it's not fast enough, but hey, at least it's a step in the right direction. Have you ever made an amazing emblem that you want to share with your friends? Well, now you can. They just added a way for you to share your custom emblems with other players. Everyone knows the grenade spam in Call of Duty World War 2 is so strong, especially in gamers like Domination and War and Gridiron. It's just people spawn and throw grenades over the map, and pretty much you have to use the hunker basic training just to stay alive. Well, now you will no longer receive shell shot from friendly explosives. So now you will not constantly have that ringing in your screen and your guy moves all slow and stuff like that. You will only get that effect from nearby enemy explosives. There is also two brand new basic trainings in World War II. The first one is called Saboteur. Its description reads, shortens fuse of explosives and an extra lethal. The second new basic training is called Shifty. You are awarded this basic training after you prestige the resistance division. Its description reads, an additional pistol attachment and unlimited pistol ammunition. Pistol magazine is always full when switched to. That seems pretty damn overpowered if you ask me. Of course, just like every other patch, there is overall glitch, game stability, and out of map exploit fixes. Let me know what you guys think of all these updates in the comment section down below. I am totally pumped to get on and test out this new health regeneration. Hopefully, it makes the game much more fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and remember, turn on those post notifications. I'm out, guys. Peace.